Um, I do want to talk about what is happening um, in Spain with a, a particular kind of angle on this, I guess. Uh, rescue efforts, of course, are continuing. These are the worst floods, first flooding disaster. In decades, 95 people confirmed dead, dozens more missing after huge rain swept the eastern province of Valencia. Um, and beyond, it went beyond Valencia as well. This was Tuesday, the horrendous torrential rains triggering flash floods, sweeping away buildings, bridges, uh, cars, and, of course, in some cases, people as well, leaving people s clinging to roofs, trees, just to try and survive. The Prime Minister, Pedro Chante Sanchez, has declared three days of national mourning as the extreme conditions continue, restricting some of the rescue efforts. And, of course, that death toll is feared to climb. There are many missing people, according to the government. Now... You don't really need a lecture or a lesson from me about the hysteria, um, and I don't use that as a, a, a pejorative. I think that's a, an objective way to describe how some people view climate. Now, what's interesting about the Spanish story, note what I said at the very beginning, that the worst flooding disaster in decades. So there has previously been something worse. And if you look across the world, we have seen horrendous weather, um, which has killed millions back in the day. Not so much today. Now, I know there's good reason for that. We have better safety measures. We have things in place. People know how to weatherproof. You know, down there in Florida, you can get a hurricane-proof house if you can afford it. So we guard against extremities in the meteorological department. That's a sort of a given, really, by the part of the journey we're at in the 21st century. But bad weather has always been with us. Now, has it got worse? I, I can't really answer that. We will speak to some experts who might want to shine some lights. Because that, I suppose, is the question really we need to put out there. Has it got worse? Are we seeing more of this? Or are we just living in a world where we're able to see these things that are played almost on a loop? on a continuous basis. Now, yesterday in the budget, you might not have spotted it, but billions, squillions of pounds was sent to climate action areas around the world. Over here, of course, we've got a new energy company being set up that will in itself produce no energy, but the idea is to get us down to that nice, cosy, net zero place on the graph. Uh, that's the point of it all. Now, I don't share the belief that there's no such thing as climate change. I do, and I merely question, I have no denial in me at all, just a lot of questions that so far no one has ever sufficiently and authentically, convincingly managed to answer. And that is whether we're all going to flipping die. Because that ultimately is what we're kind of being told by... The, the, the death cult brigade who will have you believe that you know this is an emergency beyond emergencies something doesn't add up because half the stuff that's meant to be killing us is freely available usable sellable buyable it's on the market i'm talking cars i'm talking fires i'm talking how you heat your house etc it's not illegal any of this stuff they just say well if you could use a little less now if we're about to die in you know, a few decades time and plant life and the planet Earth is going to look something like Mars does right now, then you might think we'd have a sort of an urgency. Even COVID, there was an urgency. They shut the place down for a couple of years. But not with this, where apparently death for all of us, the little creatures and the critters and the human race, we will be no more. We won't exist. Nothing will be there. Nada, rien. It's all gone disappeared into a puff of horrendous smoke. Now, if that is true, I'd like to think governments would be doing a little more, actually, wouldn't you? Not saying, well, we hope to get to net zero by 2050. You might want to do it now, mate. This thing is dying. That's the bit that I genuinely don't understand. So should we now be worried about climate change? Because to go back to the group that tell us it is all of those things, and it's death and destruction guaranteed, and we've, we've missed the, you know, we've hit the tipping point, we've missed the mark, temperatures are rising, it's going to be a horror story. Those people are now telling us that what we're seeing in Spain we are seeing more of, and we will see more of going forward. 
So should we now be worried? And if we shouldn't be worried, why not? Because I want to hear that argument. 0344 499 1000. I reckon I speak for most of the audience now with that sort of level of confusion. A bit of head scratching here. Something doesn't quite add up. Uh, rains and horrendous storms and horrific lethal weather conditions is almost part and parcel of existing no matter which planet you're on i should say or maybe even which galaxy you're in here in the milky way you know i think we can say safely that there's never been a time um read the bible for more details when we haven't seen inclemency in the weather department